Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the best RP method that literally anyone can do it for this. This has no requirements that I know of and literally it can work for PlayStation, Xbox, or PC. So before we begin with this let's just go ahead and give our shout outs to this person. So this person was the first person to comment on my last video, so I do appreciate that. And if you want to be in the next shout out, all you gotta do is be the first to comment on this exact video. With that being said, let's just go ahead and begin with it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go into any GTA Online session. It honestly doesn't matter, it could be a public, private, solo, doesn't matter. After that, you want to press options, go over to Online. Go over to jobs, go down to play jobs, go down to rocks are created, and then finally what you want to do is head down to stunt races. At the very first one, you're going to see the Hot Ring Circuit series, which currently for this week is 3 times playing RP, and we're actually going to be taking advantage of that. And the one we're going to be doing is the La Mesa Test Track. So from here, just go ahead and start it up. Once it loads in, go ahead, I like to set the number of laps to 1, or at least the, you know, minimum, which is 3 for this one, just because we're trying to get just to 1 lap. Anyway, go ahead, set everything else the same, I don't think you can actually change any of the settings, but from here you can start it up, and the good thing about this as well is you can actually do this completely solo, or you can do it with someone else, honestly up to you. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and choose your vehicle out, and then start up the race. Once it starts up, go ahead and just follow the exact same path I do. There's literally not much we have to do. All we're doing is going in a straight line and then we're driving off that corner edge. So let's go ahead and pick up this first one. So I did end up getting that checkpoint, which sucks. If you do this, you're honestly fine. You don't really have to get a lot of leeway. You're just trying to jump off of this. And once you jump off, all you want to do is try to do as many flips as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the first one here. This one is honestly not a good place to go. So let me actually try to find another place that might be a little bit better to do stunt jumps on it. Okay, I've actually got a pretty good strategy for this. When the actual app starts up, you'll start back there. Want to go ahead and collect the first two checkpoints that you see. And what you want to do now is go close to this black border and then you want to try to drive off and aim at the actual highway. So you see here I did completely miss and I also want to see if I can land this and there we go. For it I got 75 RP. So what you're trying to do is land on the highway because that's basically the flattest part that you can get to. So now we might have to do a little bit of a corner here. And I think that's good. That's actually the best one we've done yet. So let's go ahead and try to land it. And boom, we've got another 75 RP. Same as here, got 75 RP. So about every flip is about 75 RP. I was trying to look at the raceway here. I can't really find any other better spot to use. Maybe the one back there and you can try to land on that part of it. But so far, I'm just not seeing a good height spot. So I think the best one we can do is about here. Let's see how much we can actually do in about 5 minutes. So let me actually set a timer now while my character is falling. So funny enough, I was trying to pull up my clock that way I can set a timer. I had a timer going for 96 hours straight. It's at 96 hours, 42 minutes and 17 seconds. And it just keeps going up. And apparently, I don't know how long I had this going, but it's been a while. I think it was one of the videos that I last did that I guess I just didn't turn off. Anyway, we've got it going now. Let's go ahead and start the timer up. And let's see how much RP we can get in about 5 minutes. I've got a pretty good strategy going. I'm just respawning. And then right to about the black border, I just go ahead, drive off. And then I try to do as much flips as possible. But you also got to try to land perfectly. That way you can still get the RP for it. So for that I got 150 and it's honestly one of the best little methods that I've used so far. I've been trying to use a couple of them like the first time I used the one that was way back there along the race. And it didn't work as well as this one. So 
I think for this specific race, this is probably going to be the best one, which is literally right where the starting line is. Okay, I'm about nine minutes in, and it actually stopped working. Like, I can no longer get RP when I fall. If this happens, it's actually perfectly fine. All you want to do is complete the lap. And I did this around nine minutes. Or for me actually doing the whole thing, it's at three minutes right now. Honestly, that's not bad. So all we're going to do is go ahead and finish the lap up. And to be honest, for it to be four times winning RP, we should get a good amount of RP for completing it. But of course, we have to do it three whole laps around this in order for it to finish. Have you ever been broke in GTA and just wish you could go from this to that without spending a bunch of shark cards that go from a $99 just to a million? That could probably get you a couple cars, maybe some buildings and businesses, but nothing to what you need. Luckily, we have OP Mods. OP Mods is a GTA 5 money account and services website that's basically really trustworthy. Not only do they actually show their proof of work and have a five star rating of Trustpilot, but they're also a lot cheaper than the other GTA 5 competitors. And you can even use code discount legit for a 5% discount on all your purchases. Thank you and back to the video. And we've got it now it completed. Let's see what we get for this. We beat it. Well, we, we didn't do it in that exact time, but whatever. $36,000, which is really good, and we got 5,370 RP on top of all the RP we got while doing all of those flips. And I have to say, this is honestly one of the best RP methods so far, and since you cannot replay it, they actually give you the chance to redo it if it's on the job board. If not, just go back to free mode and then restart it again. Okay, so I went ahead and added the RP we got for doing all of those flips, and then the RP that we got from completing the lap. And for both of them, we made ourselves 7,920 RP with winning the race actually being 5,370. And for doing all the flips, we got 2,550 RP. And this took around 13 minutes. I did around 13 minutes, but that was not back to back because I was trying to still find a good place to do it. So I say about six minutes. I'll, I'll give a bit of the doubt and cut it by halfway, even though it's most likely more than that. But it's a really good RP method. Now, anyone who is over level 100, I'm just going to go ahead and say it, but it's probably not good for anyone who's over level 100. But anyone who's under, it is honestly really good. And you have no level requirements. That is all I have for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more GTA 5 content and news like this. Also, comment down what level you are. That way I can see how many players are, you know, what level they are trying to watch these types of videos. So it really helped me out. With that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there and goodbye.